what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back to give us a new video guys. I'm gonna my video guys. It's a makeup. I tell me, Pussy, Princess, <laughs> Queen. You just made a crown. Oh yeah, that's true. That's really very good. You know how old it is guys? So I'm gonna be right so I wanted to kill Muslim. Now I am one. Wow. Damn. So unexpected. <laughs> He's like. So? Who was later called Paul? Yeah. Trying to persecute the Christians and all that. Yeah. It's it's good. It's it's really an interesting. It's going to be an interesting story. Okay. This is going to be an interesting story because when you're trying to like persecute people, then you later on know about them. Yeah. Like, I have wow. been doing it wrongly. Exactly. Why we have been doing that? So it's. I'm not special for it. I would like to mm -hmm. know how it's going to turn out and who the man really is. What do you think? I feel it's gonna be an entertaining video because I'm gonna know more about his own perspective and how he became a Muslim and why he wanted to kill Muslims though. Yeah, in the first place, yeah. Like why would he just And what made him convert? Yeah, why what made him convert? Because that is a really strong thing to do, like you just choose or oh, this people who you set are, of religions like, I don't like, hate. I want to be one of yeah. them. So he must have actually had an encounter for him to wanna be one Converts, of them. So yeah. I wanna say. Sure. You know how to do it, guys. We'll talk less right over here. more. Let's get into this video. I get a knock at the door and hear uh, two guys in a suit. I'm from the FBI. The first thing I have to say is, what took you guys so long? I told them the truth. I was going to make my own IED and I was going to set across the Islamic Center over in a bank's parking lot and I sure. was going to dial it in and just watch the show. Growing up, I saw a movie and it was Rambo. Rambo was tough, respected. He had intestinal fortitude. I said, that's what I want to do. I went off and joined the Marine Corps. I wanted the action. The first time I got shot at, I remember looking at my watch and I said, man, this time last year I was in English class. That's what I fought several thing. times in the Middle East, Desert Shield, Desert Storm, South America, Philippines, Somalia. I think the worst things that I have seen is dead children. I had to suck it up. I had to be there for my guys. Each one of those teardrops stands for his confirmed kill. I stopped adding after 26. Where I was taught Marine Corps, just own it and then let it go. But there comes a time when there's too much of that and you can't turn it off anymore. I want you to give me a window into your state of mind at that time. One time, my wife and I went to a DSW, and I saw in the distance these two women in black burkas in my stool. I cried as I prayed for enough strength to go over there and break both their necks. I was just angry. I was just full of hate, and it just fed off itself. At that point, I was drinking a half gallon of vodka every two days. I had devised a plan, create my own IED, homemade bomb, and I was gonna set it off right outside the Muncie Islamic Center. 200 plus killed or injured, that was the plan. I saw an opportunity to do one last thing for my country. This was my rationale. I knew I would end up in a federal prison with a needle in my arm. I didn't care my hatred of Islam. It was the only thing that was keeping me alive. So one day my daughter comes home, second grade maybe. She was telling me about this little boy who sat across from her. His mom came to get him. She, she said she had scarves on her and she had a dress all the way down to her feet and you couldn't see her on nothing but her eyeballs. At that point I snapped, started spewing things out of my mouth that should never be said in front of children or anything. She didn't say anything. It was the look on her face. I remember my daughter looking at me like I was absolutely the craziest person on the face of the earth. 
She was my little buddy. Yeah, she used to say we were road dogs. <laughs> I know, I, I, I saw it in her eyes. I made her question that love. And that's when the light bulb came on. I decided to give the people of this community one more chance. So I went to the Islamic Center, see a gentleman in the shoe room taking off his shoes. He looks at me and he smiles. He said, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I want you to teach me about Islam. So he went and he gave me a Quran. Read this, come back when you have questions. So I did. And I would see things in the book. I'd be like, there it is. I got them right there. Explain that to me. And they would. This was a, a kind of awakening. Long story short, eight weeks after that first day I stepped into the Islamic Center, wow. I became a Muslim. Wow. I'm a Muslim, a veteran, and a proud American. I had learned that I was completely wrong about everything that I felt. You know, Judaism had a message, Christianity had a message, Islam had a message. Funny thing is, though, it was the same message. Exactly. It was about peace, and it was about love. Please join me in welcoming Mr. McKinney. My big thing is now to stop the hate. Nothing good has ever come out of hatred. I've done too many things. I've hurt a lot of people. I have to live with that. But if I can stop somebody else, on the path of non-forgiveness, I won. This is beautiful. Uh, this is a very beautiful story shared to us. I love the moments when he said, um, if he can stop people who have the same hatred with him, he's going to do it. That's, that's the key moment for me. There was someone who chatted me on IG. He was like, um, being a Muslim, he don't have the right to like, force you to be a Muslim with him, but he has the right to tell you, this is the right religion. I would like you to join. Yes, yes. Trying to convince you like, this is how it's supposed to be. It's very, very important. Like sharing the world to people. Yeah, their own miracles and their own yeah. religion. Yeah, like he was, the man he met at the mosque changed his life. Yeah, that's because true. imagine him meeting someone else who has some kind of like hatred for Christians or hatred for people who are not not yes, Muslims. Yeah. It's to contradict. That's just be like, what are you Why doing? Do you here? Here? Thank you very much because it's to increase the hatred for that yeah. he has towards Muslim yeah. and his plan towards destroying the mosque and He's blowing it up also he and said who should have achieved it like we cause a lot of issues around the world like mm -hmm. be like who is the man is it christian is it is it a buddha is it this who is it they want to know his background mm -hmm. so they're able to like retaliate back to the religion who mm -hmm. sent him i feel like a religion sent him but on he on his own planned visits to the mosque he encountered a man who shared the words to him. He said, come back if you have any question. That hits me deep. Come back if you have any question to clarify. I love that. Like, sincerely speaking, I love that. It's honest truth. When you're trying to tell someone to join a religion, make sure you tell the person, if you have any question, give me feedback. I will, I'm going to clarify it. I'm going to show you because there's no way the person won't be like, I don't understand this. What yeah. is this? Because it's something that they are not familiar with. Yeah. And the more I'm learning more about you guys, and um, it's it's kind of like gets my perspective. Like we are all participating. We all have the same sequence, the same yeah. flow. According to what I said, we want, all want peace. Mm -hmm. We all want mm -hmm. the same thing: peace, not war, not chaos, not killing, peace. Mm -hmm. peace. And those spreading Muslim kill people to join their religion, those things are false. Yeah. If you have a Muslim friend, you will know that's false. Like those things are 100% false. Because I have a Muslim friend, where I am, his house is not too far from mine. He keeps on telling me like, they preach peace. And oh, his yes. way of life, like there's something, there's something different. Like 
me telling you do this and me doing the same thing for you, you can follow me. Yeah. It's different. Like if it was like I'm preaching peace and it's not acting peace, it's something different. Be like Sky don't preach what he say. He's a hypocrite. Yeah. You know that kind of vibe. Yeah. So he's actually doing what, what he's, he's saying. saying, and that is very very important. Very very. I seriously love his message. I love his way of changing from trying to kill their moms yeah, or converting. It's it's a really beautiful story for me. It's really good. I'm very, very touching one. What do you think? What I love more about the video is the fact that is the way he was addressed. Like yeah. the, from the beginning he got into the mugs, the way they addressed him. Yeah. They didn't criticize him, they didn't chase him away. Yeah. And even when he saw some contradicting stuff in the um Quran. in the Quran, he brought it back and they explained it to him. Oh, so yeah. being around people that are able to guide you're able to lead in the right direction it's very very helpful because very if you have met someone that just like is not interested in helping him or just have this rude behavior he's going to keep that hate he had for muslim that's how but old he, they are yeah yeah he's going to just generalize that's, that's how, how they, are. they are but he met someone who has the fear of god who is peaceful and who wants to help who wants to give him genuine yeah. assistance he met someone like that and he had a different perspective from muslims i feel god brought him there god made his daughter talk to him that about the lady which yeah. made him felt like what he's saying is is strange and he had he went to the mocks and saw for himself so that the way he perceived them, the way he thinks about them, that's not actually how they are. They are that's nice true. and caring and very, very peaceful people, honestly. And I do love how everything turned out. I love the fact he left that hatred because holding on to hatred, guys, is it takes a lot of energy. It's very exhausting. It just drain you when you're holding on to that hate. You're just going to be so furious. And the person you're hating on doesn't even know. They don't even feel anything. I just feel it's unnecessary to hold on to the hate. And I'm very happy he found his way and he was able to like, convert. convert and love him and be, like live in peace, honestly. It was a very, very wonderful And story. he looks more happy. Yeah, he looks me. Relaxed. Like, he really And he re actually so regretted funny. his action. He said each symbol, the tattoos, is two kill. He, yeah. had, he stopped doing it when he was 26 kill, I think so. And him being a Muslim, you see the smile on his face, you see the happiness that's what matters you have to be happy doing what you love you have to be happy following the religion you found truthful it's very very vital and very mm -hmm. important this was amazing for me comment down below what you think about this video to give us a thumbs up share this video as many as can subscribe to our youtube channel guys know how this we'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I